Okay. Good morning, all of you. So we will continue from the last class. So as we know that in last class, uh, I am teaching you regarding phylum, or else a phylum, and uh, what is the tubes containing in this uh, phylum. So as we know that phylum containing what? Phylum tubes. Yes or no? So I have taught you what is the use of xylem vessels and how the water is transported from the root to the root to the way? leaves. Correct? Leaves. But we used to say that uh, how it is uh, transporting by the process of osmosis and uh, from outside, like a film of water to the a root hair, how it is absorbing, that is all we have discussed in detail. So now if it comes to here, phylum. So phylum is another another type of uh, tissues which will use to helpful in transporting water, transporting food in the plant. Means the food which is produced in leaves, it has been transported with the help of phylum throughout the plants means upper regions as well as uh, lower regions of the plants. That is what we used to call as phyl. So, phylum contains sieve tubes. What it contains? This phylum contains what? Sieve tubes. Sieve tube. So I have taught you what is the meaning of sieve tubes. This phylum. Contains sieve tubes. So as we know that. They are also the long tubes like xylem vessels, but like xylem vessels, like joining point and wherever the tubes are joining together, they are not completely broken. Is it yes or no? Correct or no? So something is present here in this picture also. Where exactly they are saying that. So what is for phylum? I have given you the definition in last class. What is phylum? So like xylem vessels, phylum is also made up of what? Many cells are Many cells. end to end. Correct or not? Many yeah. cells are joined end to end to end form to end. long tubes. Means like this one cell, another cell, like that they are used to join to form a long tubes. But like xylem vessels, they are not completely broken at the joining end to end. They have a what? They have a middle, some kind of a mess, mess in the sense of like a sieve. So that is why this we can say it is not completely broken. Is it a broken. So like the muscles, phylum is made up of many cells joined end to end to form long tubes. But the walls of the cells which form phylum are not completely broken down. Completely broken down. The end walls of the cells in the phylum, they form water. They are having a middle called as, what is that called as? Sieve plates. Sieve plates. Sieve plates. Sieve plates. That is what you should remember. So we are having some kind of a mess which will uh, like a understand passes through the small small holes it is having it is not completely broken this is what we should call as sieve plates do you understanding right so yes, sieve plates only the food which is produced in the leaves has been transported so here what is happening means so we have this this uh, phylum vessels understand this phylum cells they are having a sieve plates middle so which they have understand like a small small holes in them so these holes only in the sieve plates allow the food to pass the phylum tubes. So through that holes only, whatever the food is produced is passes through the throughout the plant. So the cells of this phylum are called only sieve tubes. What we should call the cells of this each, each cell it is called as so from here to here you can see it is called as what one sieve tube. Do you understanding all of you? Yes, sir. Like this sieve tube, another sieve tube, another sieve tube, another sieve tube, like that joining continuously end to end. That is only which to call as what? A long tube, which is known as what? Long tube. What is that called as? Long tube, which is known as what? Phylum. Do you understand? So the middle, like this, like this, a sieve, it's a small, small holes. That is what we used to call as what? What we should call? Sieve plates. Sieve plates. Sieve plates. Plates. That is what you should remember. Do you understand, Arna? So, yes, so we will think that the thing which we are able to see here, that is what the phylum. So, which one is phylum, Ra? This one or this one? This one or this one is the phylum? 
This is called as phylum. Do you understand me? Right. This is a support yes, cell, which we used to call as companion. Companion. Yes. Companion. All of you should remember. So where the seed plate will form? That is what my question. Where the seed plate will form? Ra? Seed plates where it will form? Speak all of you. Seed plates are formed at where? At the end. You can see the end wall of end wall of sieve tube. So each sieve tube. end wall of the sieve tube it contains the sieve plates. So means like a small small holes. So through these holes only the food is transported. Food is transported. So the cells of this phylum. Understanding uh, phylum are only called as sieve tubes, or else we can call it as sieve elements. Also, we can call it as what? The sieve, sieve elements. Sieve elements. That is what you should remember. Sieve elements. Because elements. Tube. Each tube will join together, then only it will form a long tube called as phylum. Correct or not? That is why we can say yes, that these are called as sieve elements. Also. Sieve. Elements. So, these sieve tubes, or else these are sieve elements, they contain only cytoplasm but no nucleus. We have to remember all of you. So, this sieve tube, if you will observe inside, understand? So, it contains what? Only it contains what? It containing cytoplasm. 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 And like a jelly like substance, it contains but no nucleus. No nucleus. Do you understand? Yeah. But if you come to the xylem vessels, xylem vessels what are? Xylem vessels. Xylem vessels contains what? It contains what? Previous, uh, previous class you remember. Check your notebooks and tell me. No cytoplasm and no nucleus. No cytoplasm and no nucleus. Yes. So neither cytoplasm nor nucleus is containing. Correct? No nucleus. Yes or yes, no? Sir. So cytoplasm yes, sir. and no nucleus it contains. Correct or not? So empty yes. tubes there. But here, what it contains? The cytoplasm. It is containing what? This sieve Cytop is containing cytoplasm. cytoplasm. No nucleus. That is what we have to write the point. All of you writing. Sieve tubes are also called as what? Everybody should respond. Sieve tubes also known as what? Sieve elements. Sieve <laughs> elements. Which form sieve phylum. Element which form phylum. Is it there the living cells or non-living cells? Ra? See, you know that xylem vessels are non-living cells, correct or not? Non-living cells. Is it yes or no? Xylem vessels are non-living yes, cells. Sir. Yes, or no? yes, sir. But it will come to the phylum. So phylum is a living vessels or uh, living or, uh, or non-living? Phylum is a living or non-living? Phylum is a living cells. What we should call? Living cells. Living mm. cells. Do you understanding? Phylum is a living cells. So which is formed by what? Phylum will form by what? Joining of? Joining of what? You have to tell sieve. me. Joining of what? Sieve tubes are sieve elements. Right. Sieve elements. Sieve elements. Sieve tubes are sieve elements. Right, all of you. Sieve tubes. Sieve tubes. Sieve tubes are we can call it as what? Sieve elements. Sieve elements. Elements which form? Which form what? Which form phloem? Which form phloem is is containing is containing cytoplasm. Containing cytoplasm, but no, no water. Nucleus, no nucleus. Living cells, phloem, which containing cytoplasm, but no nucleus. Cytoplasm, but no nucleus. Yes. But they are the what? They are the living cells. All of living cells. Phloem, phloem, understanding, is a living cells. Living cells. Do you understand all of you? Yes, sir. Yes. So please note it down till here. Any doubt, Arya? Kartikeya until here. So what is the difference between a xylem, xylem and the phy phylum? In the, by this time you can say. What is the major difference? What is the difference between xylem and uh, phylum? It contains neither cytoplasm nor xylem, sorry, nor nucleus, but uh, 
phylum is contains tube tubes contains cy- cytoplasm no nucleus but, but no nucleus no nucleus that is and also one more difference it is a non living cells and this is what non living cells it is a living cell living cells cell. cell. that is what you have to remember it do you understanding all of you yes sir so that is what now you will observe these cells remember as you observe here xylem vessels xylem vessels the walls are made up of water the walls are made up of what they are lignin and cellulose lignin and cellulose and lignin they are made up of lignin and as well as cellulose Correct? cellulose so wherever they are having a small a thickness is less that part we are having a cellulose and the where it is having a very strong and a very uh, uh, looks appears a very thickness thickness of the like walls that is containing what lignin correct or not lignin yes or no but if it comes yes, to phylums understanding phylums phylum walls phylum walls does not contain does not contain lignin do you understanding does not contain what lignin sir lignin in their walls so now if there is no lignin what will happen ra is it the cell walls will be very strong or very weak the phylum vessels the phylum walls are very strong or very weak weak sir very weak very weak do you understanding so that is why weak sir weak who can hold them and who can form the understanding a long tube so that is why you can see each sieve tube they do not containing lignin on their walls so that is why they have is next to them immediately each cell of this uh, uh, sieve tube they have a one cell called as companion cell just next to it do you understanding all of you in the picture you can see in the picture you can see like something which is forming like uh, and it is it has been like a concave mirror a concave lens have you noticed convex lens this looks like a convex lens correct yes or no looks like a convex yes, lens or not no response yes sir yes sir yes sir convex lens are not real like this only correct yes so yes, because of this walls if you observe this walls of the sieve tubes no lignin is present no lignin lignin is present so that is why they are not that much strong walls like xylem so that is why they need some supporting so each sieve tube next to it immediately it contains a something called as companion cell what we should call companion cell all of you should remember so each each sieve tube containing one companion cell this companion cell they are having little bit strong means in the sense of they are little bit denser this companion cell contains both the things one is cytoplasm and as well as nucleus nucleus the black one which you can able to see this is what we can called as what what we can call nucleus do you understand nucleus and nucleus we able to see that is what we can say the dots kind of thing what we should call cytoplasm do you understand ra so why the companion cell is present in a phylum can anybody say why it is containing phy- companion cells next to them because tell me why it contains companion cells next to the each uh, sieve tube nobody kevin ashika nitinath absent is please make a call to them so many is there jessi pranita absent is call them fastly anybody tell me why it is why they are having a com- companion cells please answer my question if you already know correct just now i am saying because of why the ph- ph- phylum walls they are having what the sieve tubes the sieve tubes does not contain what lignin you communicate me you have to answer you know correct they do not contain lignin so that what they are not that much stronger so that they need some support to be form a tubes somebody should be strong somebody should be uh, attached to that walls then only it will be strong like in the sense of we are keeping support you can see while you are keeping the molding and all roof we cannot uh, immediately we are directly i can go and i cannot keep correct i need to keep the sticks and all for support correct or not once it will become strong only then i can remove the sticks correct ra yes sir yes sir but here 
phylum vessels, uh, phloe, or else, uh, phloem vessels does not become very strong at any time because they do not contain uh, any strong substance on their walls like a lignin. They do, does not contain this lignin substance on their walls. So that always somebody should be supported to form a tubes, long tubes to transport the food. So that is why this uh, phylum vessels, they are having, this sieve tubes, they are having a cell called as companion cell, companion cell, which is a little bit stronger means it is a denser which contains cytoplasm and nucleus and other organelles organelles what is the meaning of organelles Ra? can anybody say what is the meaning of organelles if you really understand you have to tell lower classes class eight it will come so i'm saying that companion cell companion cell contains nucleus nucleus and other organelles other organelles what is the meaning of organelles please tell me. anybody kevin what is the cells of what is the meaning of organelles o r g a n e l l e s organelles don't know or no at least tell me that i will say no or don't know or if you are not communicating, or I think all of you, all of you are sleeping. What is the meaning of organelles? I am asking. I am saying that the companion cells is required for the every sieve tube because they are a little bit denser. They are denser and they contains nucleus and other organelles. What is the meaning of organelles? I am asking. Other parts of cell like mitochondria and all. Nitish Kumar is saying specialized parts. Arun Gartikeyan is saying yes. So you may notice it, right, the every cells they contains, you may class 8 you have studied plant cell and animal cell. Even class 9th also came. That are not plant cell and animal cell. So as we know that plants and animal cell, they contains inside very, very tiny structures. That are not so very, very tiny structures, for example, cell walls, mitochondria, something green pigments in the plant cell and all. That this tiny structures only we used to call as understand organelles. All of you should remember. So the tiny structures which contains in a cells, nucleus, everything, ribosomes, very good, Kevin. So this everything is called as organelles, all of you. So here, these companion cells are the same thing. They are the cells which are little bit denser, which contains nucleus and other organelles like cytoplasm. Please all of you remember. So that is what the difference between companion cell and cytoplasm. Uh, sorry, uh, sieve tube. So sieve tubes contains only cytoplasm. There is no nucleus but if it comes to the companion cell what it contains Ra? It is compared to this. Contains both cytoplasm and nucleus and nucleus please all of you remember so which is like a supporter to the sieve tubes that is what we used to call companion cells so companion cells contains what it contains nucleus and as well as other organelles like cytoplasm Understanding. So these companion cells only, understand, they will as well as like in the sense of their uh, whatever the requirement for the sieve tubes, they will uh, supply the sieve tubes with uh, some of their requirements, like uh, something like a support or some material or some minerals, if anything required for the sieve tubes, these companion cells will supply that. That is the importance of companion cells. Please all of you note it down. Companion cells supply the sieve tube companion cells companion cells supply supply the sieve tubes sieve tubes some of the requirements some of the requirements requirements of sieve tubes that is what that is the importance of what is the functioning of say, uh, companion cells you have to make it some of the requirements of sieve tubes that is so now for example you see food is made up of uh, food is made up of where uh, what is the cells where the food is made up of in the plants which part which part the food is produced leaves 
ఎనిబడి Yalni, Varshini Bensi, Ashika, then what are you remembering? Nitish, Prasini, what is the another name of photolytic cell? Anusri, please let me know. What is the another name of photolytic cell? Anybody? Arvind? No, then it is no use actually, no use of study. So that is, mesophile cells, have you remembered? Yes, sir. Mesophile cells, where the food is produced. Please remember, this is the most important thing. Food is produced in photolyte cells or mesophile cells. So, when the food is producing in these leaves, which, we the, which is made in these mesophile cells or photosynthetic cells of a leaf. So, the, this food contains what majorly? Majorly, this food contains what? Rock? They contain what? Sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. means like a glucose correct or not so it is a part of mesophile cells of a leaf so which contains what which contains what sugars correct or not sugar. So, sugar has been transported throughout the plant by home by phylum vessels that is what we know that so the food which is made by this mesophile cells of a leaf they will enter into the sieve tubes of a phylum so the interconnected phylum tubes which are present in all the parts of the plant so one once the food like uh, sugars is enters the phylum tubes in the leaves it is transported or it is carried to all the parts of the plants by the understand network of uh, phylum tubes present in all the parts of the plants like stem roots other branches of tree everything so this transportation of food the transport of food from leaves leaves also particularly which cells ra which cells which cells which cells the plants leaves yes. from mesophile mesophile cells to other parts of the plants like roots understanding and stem and all why yes. it is transporting can anybody say why it is transporting the food throughout the plant which is produced in the mesophile cell it needs to transport it by the phylum like a connecting of uh, phylum tubes phylum tubes why it is transporting what is the purpose anybody why the food need to transport throughout the plant if we are not saying this then what is the use of this why it is transporting the food because what we know that if the food is transporting then only it will release the energy correct or not respiration process will be carried out so that they will obtain the energy for building its parts and maintaining its life correct or not so if the plants wants to maintain their life if they wants to build if they wants to build their cells if the plant wants to grow then this food which is produced in this mesophile cells must be transported throughout the body who will transport that is what the question who will transport a network flowing, a network of network of what flowing vessels flowing vessels flowing what you should remember network of phloem tubes which has been connected throughout the plants all the roots stems other parts of the plant so that they will be transported this uh, food which is containing like a sugar so that what is happening they will release they will do a respiration process is be carried out so this respiration process will release what drop release what it will release the energy, energy. which is needed for what for the growth of the parts understand it for the parts and as well as to sustain life correct or not sustain life of the plant so they need energy so that is why this phylum tubes the network of this phylum tubes which is present in all 
the parts of the plant, like stems and roots, everything, the transport of food from leaves. Leaves means which cells? The cell's name called as? Mesophyll cells. Mesophyll cells. Photo, photo -like, understanding, photo like it sells to the other parts of the plants, other parts of the plants, understanding, is uh, necessary, necessary because every part of the plant needs food. Why? For obtaining energy and for building its parts and maintaining its life. So, this transportation of food from the plants, from the plants, uh, leaves to the other parts of the plant is only known as, a word called as, translocation. I have taught you in the last class, I think, correct? Translocation. Have you remembered? Translocation of food and other substances. What we should call it as? That is known as what? Transportation of food. From the other parts of the leaves, leaves to the other parts. It's called as what? Last yes, class, other part, can you can you check it? What Translocation. Huh? Translocation. 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 What is the meaning of translocation? Transport of food from where? Transport from other parts. From other parts. From other parts. From other parts. Leaf, leaf to other parts, other parts of the plants. You understand it? It's only called as translocation. So what is the use of? What is the purpose of transporting food? Purpose, anybody? Just now I have taught you. Purpose of transport of food? So to get energy. For food from, from, from leaves, leaves, okay, leaves to other, leaves to stem, roots, and etc. etc. parts of the plants is what? To release energy. What is that? To release energy. To release energy. To release energy. Energy. For what purpose? To release energy for building the cells. Understand? Building the cells and sustain their life. Building their parts. All of you know it down. Building their parts. And as well as what? Building the parts of the plant. And as well as what? It is maintaining its life, building its parts and maintaining its life. Maintaining its life. Building their building their parts and maintaining their life. That is the use of phylum clips. Now, I will show you how it has been transported. Please observe. So, this uh, phylum vessels, or as the sieve tubes, they are connected each and every part of the plant, like in the sense of a big network. Understand? So that wherever the food is released, the energy, the food is prepared in the leaves, a mesophyll cells. So, everywhere it has been transported because uh, they are like a web, connected like a big web. So, where this food has been transported throughout the body. So, now, I will show you the three pictures continuously. So, like network of uh, this uh, phylum vessels, and if we'll do the transverse view, means the side view, if we'll cut it, we can able to see the sieve tubes and companion cells all clearly. So now I will show you the pictures one by one. So please, all of you observe very carefully. So this is what the picture. Where? Uh, one minute. Yeah. So all of you observe this picture. This is this is what the picture which I can say that. What is this picture? Can you able to say? Anybody? What is this picture? Um, slow. Uh, slow. Observe very carefully. Slow. What the picture we can call it as what? A micrograph of longitudinal section through phylum tissue, full of phloem tissue. Remember, phylum tissues are plant made up of sieve tubes along their companion cells. So the red triangles which you observe here, the, in the above, understand this picture, they are the places where sieve plates are existed. All of you remember, this is what we should call it as sieve plates. Do you understand all of you what I'm saying? All of you. So this red parts, this red parts indicating what? This is the micrograph. What micrograph. 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 Understanding. Phylum. Micrograph of phylum tubes. 
save the herbs and we can observe here the next to this one we used to call it as what companion cells what we should call it? this is companion cells this is called as pseudotubes and next to that we have a what we have a companion cells do you understand all of you so this yes, red kind of triangles this red kind of triangles we only we used to call it as what pseudotubes You split. Understanding where the food has been transported, like a mess. So this is the longitudinal, longitudinal view. Longitudinal view. We have it two views: transverse and longitudinal. Correct or not? Transverse section and longitudinal section. Do you understanding, Ram? So longitudinal view of for phylum vessels. This is. Do you understand all of you? Yes. Yes. yes or no. Now. Let us see the transverse view. If you will see the transverse view, then you can understand how it will be present. So let us take this transverse view. So if we we'll go to this transverse view, then you can observe all of you carefully. This is what the transverse view. Can anybody say what is the sieve tubes here and what is the companion cells? Anybody? What is the sieve tubes and what is the companion cells? Please tell. Me. So this is another section called as transverse section of uh, phylum where we can see a sieve, a sieve plates and sieve tubes clearly. Can you able to see the sieve plate? Sieve plates and sieve tubes. Please tell me. Sieve plates and sieve tubes. Have you able to see or not? Are transverse view? Ah, this is transverse view. We can observe here. This is what we should call as what sieve. What we should call this one? You should tell me. This holes, holes it contains. Holes it contains what? What we should call sieve plates. Do you understanding? Yeah. And this is understanding. This side, this everything. This is called as what? What we should call sieve tube. See tube. This yeah. is the sense of transverse, like this cutting ra. Before one longitudinal section, like this side we are cutting. Do you understanding? You see, observe. This is transverse section. Transverse means, for example, I will say you how it will be. See, transverse. Transverse section of for phylum vessel. This is, for example, how it's how sir it is looks like. You see, so as we know that observe very carefully. This bottle only if you observe. What is the longitudinal section means? Like this we can cut. Do you understanding all of you? That is why you can see. I am able to see the long view, long view of phylum tubes and the middle a red color, red color triangles indicating what ra? Sieve plates. Correct or not? Sieve plate. Yes sir. No. Yes sir. Now. Yes sir. Transfer section means remember like this I will cut middle I will cut it and I will show you like fruits how we can show so middle if we cut it what will happen only we can able to see the that region alone correct so that region what we can see middle we can able to see the holes that holes is called as what what is the tube plate tube plate tube plate surrounding part surrounding part what we should call tube 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 tube, tube, tube. it is a transverse section all of you should remember this is the transverse section of sieve phylum tubes so this is what is that longitudinal section of phylum tubes so both are the micrographs of understanding a uh, long uh, this uh, phylum tubes when we are seeing with the microscope so please all of you remember this so here this longitudinal section this red triangles is indicating sieve plates and in transverse section if you will observe this holes are indicating sieve plates and the side supporting everything you are observing that is what we should call as sieve tubes what we should call tubes now the exact picture i will show you how it has been transported xylem and the phylum tubes how they are present each and each are present side by side only so it is they are not present very far each other but they are present side by side so please make a call to option is they will miss again then i again they have to follow something jessi pranita so many are there have you joined jessi pranita not yet joined pranav where is dina Then I saw it. Then I very good. So now you can see all of you. Can you able to see that all of you? Please observe carefully here. What is this? In this picture, you can able to see everything clearly. So here, who is that? What is this cell called as? What is this cell called as? This uh, this one. What is this? Xylem. Xylem. Xylem vessel. So this xylem vessel you can see. So everywhere they are like a open tube, open a long drainage tube. This is what xylem. So what is happening here? Transpiration of 
Transportation, transport, transportation of water will be. So that is what is happening. Now, here you can see, this is what we should call as phylum tubes. Understand, RLC tubes. So middle, hand, can you able to see here, like a mess? Like a, what is this called? Sheep plate. Sheep plate. Sheep plate. Sheep plate. So this is only sheep plate. Have you, can you able to see holes, sir? It looks like a holes. Correct or not? Yes, sir. No. Now, side, side it has been covered with what? Every side, you can see. This side and this side, it has been covered with what? This is only... Sheep with... tube. What? Sheep tube. Sheep tube. tube. What, what are you talking? Sides, uh, this is called as sieve tube. This middle one is called as sieve tube. What is this called as I am asking? Side supporting... Companion cell. Companion cells. Companion cells. Understand? That is what the companion cells. You can see here. Source of leaf. Source of leaf, what it is producing? What it is producing? Food. 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 So, this food has to be directly absorbed through the understanding. Through the squad, through the companion cells only, it will reach us to the phylum tubes, the network of phylum tubes. And this uh, through the sieve plates only, the food has been Translocation, we can call. Translocation of food has been transported like this root. You can see root cells, root, a sink cell called as root cell. And from here, the leaf cell, the source cell. Source cell is called as what? Leaf. What we should call? Leaf. leaf. Why leaf. is it called as source cell? Can anybody say? Why it is known as source cell? Any idea? Dina, Pranav, Arya? Dilipan. Source. Sure, because food is produced in the leaf only. Here, that is why it is called as source. Understand? And here, root. Root cell is called as sink cell. Why it is called as sink cell? Because it is absorbing energy, food energy. Absorbing water. That is why it is. Do you understand all of you? In the physics, you can see always heat will transform from hot body to cold body. Correct or not? Heat will transform. Yes. Hard body, cold body. Hard so food. hard body is called as source and cold body is called as sink. Do you understand it? So sink. it is always transported from source to sink. Understand? This is only called as thermodynamics. Understanding? Second law of thermodynamics. But you don't know. That is why I am not saying. So here also, why the leaf is called as source cell means there only the food is produced in mesophile cells. So that is transported. Translocation with the help of phylum tubes of network of phylum tubes that 